Good, ev good evening, everyone, and welcome to week two of the Mass and Tiger football season. Doing the play-by-plays is me, Braden Geyer, and I'm here with Mr. Sheets. So, Mr. Sheets, how are you feeling about tonight's game? Well, Braden, first of all, it's a pleasure to be with you. We look forward to hearing your commentary here tonight, play-by-play -play action, and uh, I'm excited. The Tigers, and with a, even a loss last week, losing to Pickerington Central here 26-7, a lot of Tiger fans have to remember, Braden, Maslin lost their opener last year. You remember that? They lost yep. to Lakewood St. X. Then the Tigers rebounded, ended up playing in the state championship game, and therefore we got a week here, turned things around. Coach Moore and his staff, I'm sure, have worked very hard this week to get that team ready to take on the Glen Oak Golden Eagles. I'm pretty excited about tonight's game. Um, I'm ready to see how Maslin learned from last week's game, see what they improved on, and I'm just ready to see how they play tonight. Well, the Maslin offense last week, Braden, came up with just 135 yards of total offense. That is not what we're used to see out of a Maslin offense. I'm sure the Tigers will get things turned around. Star running back, Wiltrell Hartson, was held to just 59 yards. He did have one touchdown. Uh, starting quarterback Darius McElroy went two for eight for 25 yards. He also had nine rushes for 25 yards. So it'll be interesting. You know, the defense played well, but they were on the field an awful lot last week. So they got tired out, and uh, hopefully we'll have a better balance of offense and defense here tonight. Time for the alma mater. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support allowing us to bring you tonight's game. They include Reliable Heating and Cooling, Stark State College, Sergeant Clean's Car Wash, the Massam Boys and Girls Club, Cosmos Grill, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Doring Vision Center, Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin, the Friends and Family Credit Union, Tower Industries, Perfect Storm All-Stars, Downtown Maslin Association, Medicap Pharmacy, Discount Tire Outlet, the WHS Alumni Association, the Home Appliance Company, the Maslin YMCA, Discount Outlet in Maslin, Mears Nissan, Your Pizza Shop, Erie Street Pub, and MCTV. Well, Braden, they say, in high school football, in college football, and in pro football, teams make their biggest progress from week one to week two. As you see the Tigers get ready to come out of the huddle, let's hope that's the case tonight again for the R. Maslin Tigers. I hope that is the case. I'm glad to see what they're coming out with tonight. I'm super excited to see them play tonight. I just I can't wait to see what they bring. And another really big crowd here this evening, especially on the home side here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. Just super glad this year that we can actually come to the games and have like a full stadium, student sections full, and I'm just super excited. Absolutely, as you can see, the Tigers preparing to run out on the field. Glen Oak at the scoreboard end, also getting ready to come out under their head coach, Scott Garcia.
And Braden, just like last week, it is hot down on that turf. How about the weather? I mean, it is it is very hot. I mean, not up here in the press box. It's actually not too hot. But, like, down there for the football players with all their pads and stuff on it, it must be, like, really hot for them. Well, normally here at Maslin, the Tigers will wait until the visiting team runs on the field. Both teams are, are poised and ready. It's like a, a standoff. <laughs> Who's going to come out first? <laughs> And here comes our Masson 2021-2022 Tigers. Leading them, to, leading them tonight is number 16, Cam Camden Beasley. Here comes the 2021 Glen Oak. Getting ready now for the national anthem from our Tiger Swing Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us in a moment of silence. And we remember the tragic loss of life in Afghanistan yesterday. shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea with mr james gates directing please stand and join in the singing of our national anthem the star spangled banner An incredible performance by our Mass and Tiger swing band. They put in so much work and it definitely pays off. Each performance they do is just always great. Love to see it. In the pregame earlier, Braden, Glen Oak won the toss and they elected to receive, so they want the football. Masson's defense will be on the field first. Last week, Glen Oak won their, uh, their week one game, 31-22 uh, to 22 to Shaker Heights, breaking their 16-game losing streak. This year, longtime coach Scott Garcia, who was away from the team. He retired several years ago after coaching for a long time. He's been their athletic director at Glen Oak. He came back, came out of retirement. He is the head coach. He comes back. Team gets a win last week.
Shane Rue getting ready to kick off for the Tigers. And there's a flag on the play. Going to have a penalty against the Tigers, an illegal shift. That's a five yard penalty. That makes it first and ten, ball on the 40 yard line. Yeah, they'll be kicking off as they move it back to the 35. Receiving the ball is number 13, Kator Ashcraft. Seems to be tackled down on the 30-yard line. That was actually number one, Kamani McNeil. First and 10 for Glen Oak, ball on the 35-yard line. 30, my bad. Isaiah knocks at the ball, fake pass. He's running for it. He runs downfield, tackled. Looked like number 80. Maverick Clark, a 6'1 sophomore from his linebacking position, held Knox to just one yard. Or are they going to give him a two yard pickup? Second and eight on ball on the 32 yard line. Knox, Knox hands the ball off. Hands the ball off to number 39, Austin Potter. And a good tackle that time from linebacker Camden Beasley of the Tigers. Makes it third down for Glen Oak. I think it's going to be about a third and seven, Braden, at the 33. Ten and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Knox throws the ball to number 35, tackled at the 39-yard line. Number 34, Josh Coleman. Number 35, Michael Davis. My, sorry, my bad. He was the one who made the catch, and he was knocked down by Freddie Lennox Jr. of the Tigers, number 20. So it's fourth down and about a yard. It looks like the Golden Eagles are going to go for it here, Braden. This is a pretty gutsy call early in the game. Have to have a lot of confidence, especially in your offensive line and your quarterback. Glenna calls a timeout. Timeout on the field with 9.32 to go here in the first quarter. Let's take a quick timeout for our friends at Stark State College. Saving money is more important than ever, and Stark State College is here to help. With more than 50% off your fall tuition, sign up now and receive $100 off each credit hour, any major. 
online or on campus. And if you're a graduating high school senior, your fall tuition is free. Gain the skills to head directly into a good paying job or take your credits and transfer to a bachelor's degree program. Either way, you'll save thousands on a high quality education. Find out more at starkstate.edu slash half off. Thank you, Stark State College. Fourth down and one, Glen Oak at their own 39-yard line with 9.32 to go in the first quarter. Now they're in punt formation. Kamani McNeil. Kamani McNeil on the punt. Received by number four, Austin Brawley. Fair catch, good decision now. The Tigers will get the ball on offense for the first time tonight. I'm super, I'm super excited to see what they have for offense tonight. We didn't get to see much of that last game, but so I'm really excited to see what they do this game. Darius McElroy hands off the ball to number 25, Will Trail, Hartson. Yeah, broke a couple of tackles, Braden. A good carry on first down. A pickup of seven yards. Bad snap there. Darius runs the ball. He's pushed out. Pushed out by number 10, Luke Weary. Unfortunately, Braden, the high snap threw the timing of that play off. I think it was going to be another handoff to Hartson. Making it third and eight, ball on the 24 yard line. Clock running 8.20 here in the first quarter. Darius throws the ball. Pass incompleted. Number 20, Freddie Lennox Jr. Fourth and eight, a uh, ball on the 24 yard line for the Madison Tigers. The Tiger punter this year is the quarterback, Darius McElroy. Back to receive for Glen Oak is Avante Burt. Ardell Banks for the Tigers downing the football. So both teams unable to move the football on their first possession. Glen Oak will get the ball again at their own 43 yard line. Making it first and 10 ball on the 43 yard line with eight minutes left to go in the first half. Isaiah Knox fake handoff. Isaiah Knox handoff to number 33, Sam Harper. Tackled by number 13, Riley Campbell. And we've got an injured Glen Oak player down at the 39 yard line, so the officials will stop the clock and we'll have a timeout. Now, this word from Sergeant Cleans Car Wash. At Sergeant Cleans Car Wash, they know you have a lot of choices when it comes to getting your car clean. That's why, at Sergeant Cleans Car Wash, you can count on their hardworking team members to make your car washing experience the best. They offer unlimited monthly plans and free vacuums that will help keep your vehicle looking showroom new. Sergeant Cleans Car Wash is veteran-owned and is proud to be a part of the Maslin community. 
Another great car washing experience is waiting for you at Sergeant Clean's Car Wash in Maslin. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. And thank you to the Masson Boys and Girls Club and Sergeant Clean's Car Wash. Knox throws a ball to number 30, 35, incomplete pass. The injured player for Glen Oak a short time ago was number 50, Jaden Thomas. It's now third and 13 for Glen Oak. Ball on the 40 yard line. Maslin gets in there and puts pressure on Knox. Almost had a sack there. Yeah, Braden, that was a screen pass, but the pressure for the Tigers was outstanding, and Knox really didn't have enough time for the play to develop. So that's going to bring up fourth and 13, and Glen Oak will punt again. Receiving the ball is number 18, Ardell Banks. Oh, uh, sorry, number four, Austin Brawley. Catches the ball, he's running downfield. He has a bunch of space there to run. He just found that gap, got it in there. Tackled around the 43 yard line. Tackled by number 33, Sam Harper. Well, Braden, the Tigers now with excellent field position as they start their second drive. 7.25 to go here in the first quarter. First and 10, ball on the 43 yard line for Madison Tigers. McElroy hands the ball to number 25, Wiltra Hartson. Making it second and eight for the Massive Tigers. Ball on the 45-yard line. Flag on the play. That was a planned run by Darius McElroy. And now, Braden, we have a second penalty as well on the play. I think that the back judge is going to pick that one up. Holding. Holding. Offense. Offense. Number 53. So that's going to hurt the Tigers, that holding penalty. So they'll march the ball back 10 yards from where the holding took place. Which makes it second and eight, ball on the 35 yard line. Third and 17, uh, ball on the 36 yard line, my bad. It's actually second down, so second they down. just corrected that. Bad snap, but they recovered that. Tackled on the 40 yard line. Number 12, Curtis Miller receiving or catching the ball. Third and 14, 
for the Madison Tigers ball being on the 39 yard line. Let's see if this Masson offense can come up with a big play here, Braden, and keep the football. Darius runs right. He has so much space to run. Tackled where it looks to be the 48-yard line. Yeah, I think they're going to mark it actually at the 49, but they're going to be short by about four yards. So the punt team back on for the Tigers. Making the kick is number eight, Darius McElroy. Oh. Downing the play, number 10, Nate Watkins. 5.13 to go here in the first quarter, so no score. Glen Oak will get the ball for the third time. So far, we've seen some great defense by both teams. Yeah. Both offenses off to a slow start. First and 10 with uh, 17 to go for Glen Oak. On the 17. On the 17. He gets through there. He gets pushed out of bounds. Uh, running the ball was Avante Burt, number six. Making it second and two with the ball being on the 25 yard line for Glen Oak. Number 39, Austin Porter on the play. Nathan Depew on the tackle for the Tigers. But it was a, a play that went backwards for the Golden Eagles. So you're looking at a third down and almost five. Ball is near the 23. Timeout, Masson on the. Tigers call timeout with 3.53 to go here in the first quarter. Now, this quick word from Cosmos Grill. Hungry for a great lunch or dinner? Then it's time to head to Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. You'll enjoy their friendly, welcoming atmosphere and their hardworking wait staff. At Cosmos Grill, their large menu offers you a great selection of appetizers, soups, salads, entrees, and more. For a special treat, order one of their mouth-watering Hearthstone baked pizzas. Cooked up fresh and delicious every time. Carryout and curbside pickup are both available at Cosmos Grill, located in downtown Maslin. Back at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, our thanks to Cosmos Grill, one of our fine sponsors this season on WHS-TV. Third and five for Glen Oak, ball being on the 22-yard line. Another big play for this Tiger defense. They want to make a stop here, Braden, and get that offense back on the field with good field position. Flagstone on the play. Masson just got in there and just made that tackle. Looked like a big charge up the middle by nose tackle Marcus Moore of the Masson Tigers. Offense, number 75. That penalty is declined. So the Tigers decline the penalty. That will bring up fourth down. 
Great pressure up the middle by the Tiger defense. Fourth and 12 for Glen Oak, ball being on the 15 yard line. Kicking the ball is number three, Logan Scott. Receiving the ball is number 12, Curtis Miller. Nice run by Miller, had a couple of key blocks, and the Maslin offense with great field position, Braden. They'll start this drive in Glen Oak territory at the 48. There's a good look at number 12 for the Tigers, Curtis Miller, a 5'7", 140-pound senior. A lot of speed. Let's see if this Maslin offense now can get some momentum going. 3.29 to go in the first quarter, no score. Darius Hunt's right at the middle. He gets through there. Number eight, Darius Mc McElroy. Took the football himself. There was a nice hole up front in that line. Good job by the O-line. Second and three for the Madison Tigers. Ball being on the 41-yard line with three minutes and two seconds left in the first quarter. Darius hands the ball to number 20. Tackle on the 42-yard line. Number 20, Freddie Lennox Jr. on the play. He's up third and one for the Madison Tigers on the 39-yard line. There he throws the ball to number 31. He has room to run. Runs out of bounds. Number 31, Zach Lieberler. Well, the Tigers really mixed it up that time. They had third down less than a yard. It looked like it would be a, a sure running play, but they came out throwing and they caught Glen Oak a little off guard, a big play. Making it first and 10, the Masson on the 29 yard line. Number eight runs the ball. He has a bunch of space to run. Oh, he fumbles, but he recovers the fumble lead. Tackled by number 35, Michael Davis. Really a nice play there by Darius to keep his wits as he lost the ball, but then he was able to fall on it, recover his own fumble. Tigers keep possession. They get it. First and 10 at the 18. Will Trell Hartson with the carry for the Tigers. And no gain that time, Braden. Second down with 10 to go, ball on the 18 yard line. A minute and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Darius hands the ball off to number 25. There's a flag on the play. A flag came in late. Good play defensively by linebacker Wyatt Harvey, number 44, in on the stop, along with several other Golden Eagle players. So we'll see what the penalty call is. We got a dead ball. 
personal foul offsetting. So a personal Second foul out. on both teams. So it's an offsetting penalty. No change in the situation. Still being second and 10 with ball on the 18 yard line for Mass and Tigers. We're going to say it's third down. Third down. Darius throws the ball out of the end zone, which is intended for number 18, Ardell Banks. That play was well covered, Braden. The ball was thrown in a really good spot where really Banks was the only guy that was able to possibly bring it in. And with his size at 6'3", 185 pounds, it was really a good throw, just a little bit too much on it. So now, looks like we're going to have a field goal attempt. No. Nope. Shane Rue, the Tiger kicker, was out there. But looks like the Tigers may have changed their mind. And looks like we have a timeout on the field. Now this word from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. If you're like most people, your life is a series of brush strokes, large and small. Moments from the everyday to the extraordinary. As you move through your world, let Grange Insurance and an independent agent put the finishing touches on an insurance plan to meet your needs. Now, that's a stroke of genius. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thanks to Buell and Oliveri Insurance. Exactly one minute to go here in the first quarter. It's fourth down and ten for the Tigers. Now, after the timeout, it's going to be a field goal attempt by Shane Rue, and this will be a 36-yard attempt. Ball will be spotted at the 26. And a field goal complete by number one, Shane Rue. An excellent kick by him. So the Tigers jump on top three to nothing with 56 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Now this word from Doring Vision Center. Proper eye care is important. Doring Vision Center in downtown Massillon is a primary care optometry clinic. They use the latest technology and can treat most eye disease conditions. Doring Vision Center welcomes emergency eye visits and same day appointments may be available. Most insurances are accepted, including government plans. Don't forget their optical showroom featuring a wide variety of frames. From everyone at Doring Vision Center, Go Tigers! And thanks to Doring Vision Center, one of our sponsors on WHS-TV. Braden, we've got the lead. How about that? Shane Rue with a 36-yard field goal. And boy, the Tigers had some big shoes to fill. Last couple of years, Alex Bauer did an outstanding job kicking. Magnus Haynes was a terrific punter. And now you've got Shane Rue this year, the field goal kicker and kickoff specialist for the Tigers. And the, the quarterback, Darius McElroy, handling the punting duties. Big responsibilities. Look at that kick. All the way into the end zone. So that'll bring the ball out to the 25-yard line. Making it first and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball being on the 25-yard line. 56 seconds left in the first quarter. But Tiger defense has played very well here in the first half. Glen Oak. I should say here in the first quarter, Glen Oak has not moved the ball hardly at all here early on. Mm -hmm. 
They'll actually mark the ball at the 25-yard line. First down and 10 there now for the Golden Eagles. Number two tries to run the ball, but tackle by number five. Ryan Zetkovich knocks the quarterback, kept the ball, but Zenkovich right there, right place, right time, made a good tackle. Making it second and 12 for, the, for Glen Oak. Ball on the 23-yard line. Isaiah Knox tries to throw the ball to number 35, Michael Davis, but it was incomplete. He really threw that ball hard, and when Davis turned around, the ball was pretty much by him. He didn't really have much time to react to it. Stops the clock, which is seven seconds to go here in the first quarter. Third down for Glen Oak. Number two with the ball, Isaiah Knox pushed out. By number 16, Camden, Camden Beasley. That's going to mark the end of the first quarter. Score at Masson Tiger 3, Glen Oak 0. We'll come back with second quarter action after this word from Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin. Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free traditional wings on Wing Tuesdays. It's like hitting a lot of twice, right in the mouth. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Hey, Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. We've told you about the Mirrors Must See Guarantee, but don't take our word for it. Uh, they made it clear from the first time I walked in that uh, their job didn't end uh, once they handed me the keys. Uh, I serviced my vehicles here, not only the one I bought here, but my mother's, and the way they treated me with respect, follow-up calls. But the folks here at Mirrors Nissan treat you that way from start to finish. See us at 4825 West Tuscarora Street in Canton or online at MearsNissan.com. Thanks to Mears Nissan and Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin as we're back to start the second quarter of play. Ball received by number four, Austin Brawley. With a lot of space to run, he breaks free from that and he just keeps running. Oh, breaks, breaks that tackle. Falls down on the 11-yard line. We've got some flags on the field, though. I think it's probably going to come back, most of it, Braden. Well, you can see the quickness of Austin Brawley and the speed. The flag. Several flags right near midfield, so they're going to march it back. Probably being five foot nine, 180 pounds, senior.
So we had unsportsmanlike conduct on both teams and a holding penalty against Maslin. So they will enforce the holding penalty. The hold was right about midfield. And so the ball will be spotted back at the Maslin 40. They get first and 10 on the 40 yard line. Darius hands the ball off to number 25. Break through the tackle, two trying. Tackle uh, Will Trell with the ball. First down for the Madison Tigers. Nice blocking on that right side by that Tigers offensive line. And they're already in Glen Oak territory. Cho goes right up the middle. Hartson takes it to near the 35. Early in the second quarter, 11 minutes and 10 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and seven to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Darius hands the ball to Trell again. Which is a loss about two, two yards. Tackled by number one, Kamani McNeil. Makes it third and nine for the Madison Tigers with the ball on the 37 yard line. With 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Davis throws the ball out of bounds. Intended for number 21, Jaden Welch. Boy, that time, just a misconnection. Welch was wide open, and McElroy just with a little bit too much on the throw. So now it's fourth down and nine. McElroy to punt now from near midfield. Kind of a pooch kick there, and it'll roll down to the 10 yard line. Nice kick there by McElroy. Another high snap. He was able to go up and get it and made a nice kick. Ten minutes and ten seconds left in the second quarter. First and ten, ball on the ten yard line for Glen Oak. Don't forget every Wednesday night at 7.30 on WHS TV, it's the Nate Moore Show, featuring the head coach of the Maslin Tigers, Nate Moore. Catch it on MCTV channels 6, 11, and 11. WHS TV presenting the Nate Moore Show, brought to you by Reliable Heating and Cooling every Wednesday night at 7.30. Number two, Isaiah Knox, tackled, sacked by number. A bunch of Tigers, Brayden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a there was some confusion on the handoff, and they're actually going to give him forward progress to the five yard line. A loss of five. We get second and fifteen with the ball on the five yard line. Mm -hmm. Let's see if maybe Masson can get a safety here. Right.
Knox, hand, Knox hands the ball to number 33, Sam Harper. Tackled by number 40, Landon Petrus. Petrus. Landon Petrus, number 40, 5'8", 235 pounds, sophomore, out there on the field for the Maslin Tigers. Third down for Glen Oak. Third and 14 for Glen Oak. With the ball on the five yard line, or six yard line. Knocks stressed out, pressure, he just throws the ball just to prevent from getting that sack. And the Tiger coaches want an intentional grounding call and they're not gonna get it. But the good news is that it's fourth down and long and Glen Oak is gonna have to punt, Braden. And this punt is gonna come from the back of the end zone. Punting the ball, number three, Logan Scott. Receiving the ball, number four, Austin Brawley. Or number 12, Curtis Miller. Flag on the play. Delay of game penalty against Glen Oak. So that's a half a distance call. Two and a half yard penalty. And the ball now goes back to the three yard line. Good kick. Wow, Brawley. Receiving the ball is number four, Austin Brawley. Dodging all these tackles. Breaks free of one of them. Tackled originally by number 34, Josh Coleman. And 25, Jaden Gorham. Excellent return again by Austin Brawley. And the Masson offense gets great field position. Good job by the defense to pin the Golden Eagles back deep. First and 10 for the Masson Tigers with the ball in the 38-yard line. Eight minutes left in the second quarter. Darius hands the ball off to number 25. He was gonna go up the middle, but he cuts out. Tries to run around, and he breaks free of a tackle, and he runs, running in, but he was tackled out of bounds by number five. That was Wiltra House uh, Hartson carrying the ball, and tackled by number five, Davon Blanchard. That's a great run by Wiltrell Hartson. Really made a lot out of nothing. Looked like he might be stopped in the backfield. But instead, he has the Tigers down at the 13-yard line of Glen Oak. Darius throws the ball. Ooh, almost intercepted by number 35, Michael Davis. Ball was intended for number 31, Zach Liebler. 7.24 to go in the first half. High snap. 20, uh, Will Trout takes it in. They're able to recover from that high snap. Tackled by number six, Avante Burt. Yeah, Wiltrell Hartson showing you some of the moves. Made it third and seven for Masson with the ball on the 10 yard line. To say some of the moves that he showed so much last year. Hand off to number Wiltrell again, just going straight up the middle. Tackled by number 10, Luke Weary. 
Weary did a nice job of cutting inside and making the first hit on Hartson. 6.20 to go in the first half. And we have an injured Glen Oak player down right at the 10 yard line. Let's take a timeout for Perfect Storm All Stars. Competitive cheer is just that competitive. Prepare your child now with the help of Perfect Storm All Stars and their cheer and tumbling facilities right here in Maslin. Perfect Storm All Stars offers full year, half year, and recreational competitive cheer teams and classes. They feature tumbling, ninja open gyms, baton, birthday parties, and much more. The first class is always free. Call today or stop by their main gym on 3rd Street Northwest in Maslin. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Lennox, air is life, make it perfect. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop in one of our locations today to become a friend of the family. Fresh, great tasting pizza can be difficult to find. Your pizza shop located on Mathlin's west side has been making delicious pizzas since the 1960s. Their large menu includes your favorite pizzas and toppings, along with wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and more. Their convenient drive through window is open. Delivery service is available too. Your pizza shop located on the corner of Lincoln Way West and 32nd Street Northwest in Mathlin. Back here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, our thanks to your pizza shop, friends and family credit union, reliable heating and cooling, and the Perfect Storm All-Stars. The injured player for the Golden Eagles is number 55, Malcolm Porter. Porter listed at 6'8", 350 pounds, and a senior, putting very little weight on that left leg. Looks like a, a lower leg injury for Malcolm Porter. Braden, we have 6.22 to go here in the first half. Fourth down. Or fourth and five with a ball on the eight yard line. Looks like Masson's going to go for a field goal attempt here again. This will be a 26 yard attempt. By number one, Shane Rue. And the kick is complete, making the score Masson six, Glen Oak zero in the second half with six minutes and 18 seconds left. Good job by the Tigers converting, getting some points. And leading here six to nothing. Don't forget, every Wednesday night at 7.30, following the Nate Moore Show on WHS-TV, it's Swing with Maslin Band Director Jason Neal. You'll get the latest news on the Tiger Swing Band, plus a preview of the upcoming halftime show each week on the show. Brought to you by our good friends at Howard's Tiger Rags in downtown Maslin. It's Swing on WHS-TV, MC-TV channels 611 and 11 every Wednesday night. Number one, Shane Rue's going to kick it.
receiving the ball is number six, Avante Burt. Nice return by Burt as he gets out to the 25 yard line. Making it first and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 25 yard line. Well, this Maslin defense tonight so far, Braden, has done a really nice job. They've kept Glen Oak out of the end zone, pitching a shutout here in the first half. Ooh, bad snap for Glen Oak. Recovered by number two, Isaiah Knox. Yeah, Glen Oak has had some troubles on those shotgun snaps. They lost four yards on that play. Making it second and 14 for Glen Oak. Ball on the 21-yard line. With five minutes and 42 seconds left in the second quarter. Knox hands off the ball to number. Knox hands off the ball to number 33, Sam Harper. Harper, just a sophomore. Listed at 5'11", 205 pounds. Third and seven for Glen Oak. Knox runs out, throws the ball to number 10. Pushed out of bounds by number 16, Camden Beasley. Number 10, Luke Weary with the reception. It's a Glen Oak first down. First and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 41 yard line. Knox hands the ball off to number 33, Sam Harper again. Drives up the middle. Tackle by number 56, Marcus Moore. Second down for Glen Oak. Number two runs out, walks out of bounds. Isaiah Knox on the play. Being at third down with four to go for the Glen Oak. Pressure on Knox, ball is thrown out of bounds. Intended for number 35, Michael Davis. Number 20, Freddie Lennox Jr., great coverage from his cornerback spot for the Tigers. Running stride for stride with Davis. That brings up fourth down. 3.28 left in the first half. Ball is on the 47-yard line for Glen Oak. 
Fourth and four. Kicking the ball is number three, Logan Scott. It's a straight up kick. That one off the side of his foot and the Tigers get excellent field position. Braden Maslin has three minutes and 20 seconds to try and add to their six to nothing lead here right before the half. Let's see if the Tigers can come up with some magic. First and 10 for the Masson Tigers with the ball on the 38 yard line. Darius throws the ball. Oh, a little too far for Brawley to catch. Intended for number four, Austin Brawley. Number nine, Lyndon Blackman on the coverage for Glen Oak. Second and 10 for the Massa with the ball on the 38 yard line. Throws, Darius throws the ball to number 12, Curtis Miller. And a flag on the play. Holding, Holding. offense, Holding. number 14. So that play is going to come back. That'll be a 10-yard penalty against the Tigers. Making it third and 17 for the Madison Tigers with the ball on the 31-yard line. Second and 17. Darius runs, throws the ball. Just a little too far for number 20 to get it. And that is Freddie Lex Lennox Jr. McElroy was being chased. He did a good job to give himself some extra time. But he overthrew Freddie Lennox Jr. by just a little bit. Third down now for the Madison Tigers. Third and 17 with the ball on the 31 yard line. Two forty to go in the first half. Number eight, Darius. McElroy intends to throw for number four, Austin Brawley, but is incomplete. That time, unfortunately, Braden, Austin Brawley slipped when he made his cut, and when he regained his footing, the ball was already by him. So that stops the clock with 2.36 to go here in the half, and the Tigers will punt. Putting the ball is number eight, Darius McElroy. Dominic Salvino downing the football for the Tigers. Two twenty-seven to go in the half. Glen Oak gets the ball back. Making it first and ten for Glen Oak on the thirty yard line.
Isaiah Knox on the play. He cuts, but he's tackled. Tackled by number 13, Riley Campbell. Good pressure by number 44, Nathan Dupe of the Tigers. Stops the clock with 2.18 to go. And a timeout now from Tower Industries. Thanks to Tower Industries, we have 2.18 to go here in the first half. Second and 10 for Glen Oak, ball on the 30-yard line. There is Maslin Tiger head coach Nate Moore on the sideline. Isaiah Knox, pressured by Maslin. Throws the ball, almost intercepted. By number 13, Riley Campbell. Great job by Riley Candle, Campbell to reach up and tip that football away. With the ball intended to number 35, Michael Davis. Making it third and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball still on the 30 yard line. Two minutes and 10 seconds left in the second quarter. Play clock is winding down. Looks like Glen Oak is going to take a timeout here. They do take the timeout. Again, stopping the clock with 2.10 to go here in the first half. Let's take this time out for the Downtown Maslin Association. There's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Thanks to the Downtown Maslin Association. 2.10 to go here in the first half. Maslin leading six to nothing, thanks to two field goals by senior Shane Rue. And now, it's third down and 10 for Glen Oak. The ball at their own 30 yard line. Isaiah Knox steps back, throws the ball. Oh, incomplete pass to number 35, Michael Davis. Michael Davis made a tremendous diving effort, but when he came down with the ball, the turf separated the football from his arm, so it's incomplete. Tigers had pretty good coverage. That was just a really good throw that almost turned into a big play for the Golden Eagles. But now, Maslin is going to get the ball back again with 2.03 remaining here in the first half. Kicking the ball is number three, Logan Scott. Received by number four, Austin Brawley. Little bit of space to run there. Tackle by number 34, Josh Coleman. Josh 
having a minute and 50 left in the second quarter. Well, both these teams have had their chances here in the last five minutes. It's just that the defenses have played so well. It's been a punting contest. <laughs> See if the Tigers can get another score here before the half. Jerry sets back, throws the ball. The pass is complete to number 12, Curtis Miller. Down by number nine, Lyndon Blackman. Both teams with a timeout each. Darius throws the ball to, number to Curtis again, and he's tackled on what looks to be the 41-yard line by number one, Camille McNeil. That's a first down, Braden. First and 10 for the Madison Tigers with the ball on the 39-yard line. Clock running, 1-11 left first half. Darius throws the ball to number 39, and he steps out. Catch complete by Kyler Wiggins. Wiggins, a 5'8 sophomore. Second and a yard. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Catching the ball is number 12, Curtis Miller. He caught it, and then he was hit. It looks like it was taken away by a Glen Oak defender and then Just gave it right back yeah. to him. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to 50 seconds. Clock is running. First and 10 at the 19. Darius throws the ball to number 18. Tackle by number 9. Lyndon Blackman, and number 18, Ardell Banks, catches the ball. Clock down to 26. D Ooh. Darius attempts to throw the ball to number four, Austin Brawley, but it's incomplete. That stops the clock with 22 seconds to go. Third and six for Masson on the 15 yard line. Again, the Tigers still have one timeout, as does Glen Oak. Darius runs right up the middle. He has space to run. Ooh. Down to the one yard line. And now the Tigers will use a timeout. That was a great one run, wasn't it? It was a great run. He found that opening and he just took it. Broke a, broke a tackle. Let's take a quick time out for Medicap Pharmacy. Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from five to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait half hour to an hour probably the best uh, pharmacist in the city. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Thank you, Medicap Pharmacy. 14 seconds left after the Tiger timeout. So Maslin out of timeouts, Glen Oak still has one. But now, tough spot here. First and goal for the Madison Tigers. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to score because I don't know if you're gonna have enough time for a field goal. We've got a flag on the play offsides Glen Oak. 
And the clock stops with 12 seconds left. So that moves the ball literally to the goal line. <laughs> See that? Right at the half yard line. Great like shot right from our camera operator. All Masson has to do is just squeeze right in there. Yeah. That'll be a touchdown for the Tigers. And he gets it. It's a touchdown for the Masson Tigers. Beating the score 12 to 0. Touchdown, Darius McElroy, number eight. Great job by center Jaden Woods, right guard Mike Mercurio, and left guard Reese Turpin. Right up the middle, Darius McElroy makes it 12 to nothing for the Tigers. Kicking the ball is number one, Shane Rue. Holding the ball is number 14, Calix Collins. And the kick is good. Making the, the score 13, Maslin, 0, Glen Oak. With 12 seconds left in the second half. So the Tigers do take advantage of that last possession and punch it in for a big touchdown. That's a big momentum builder, Braden. Twelve seconds left until halftime begins. We invite you to stay with us. The Glen Oak Marching Band at the half and the Maslin Tiger Swing Band performing at halftime here as well. Kicking the ball is number one, Shane Rue. Receiving is number one, Kamai McNeil. Or Avante Burt, number six. McNeil caught the kick, but his momentum carried him into the end zone, so it will be a touchback. And the ball will come out to the 25 yard line with 11 seconds left in the half. Making it at first and 10 for Glen Oak. With the ball in the 25 yard line. This looks like a, a snap and take a knee here and go into the locker room. Isaiah Knox knees it, putting us into our halftime. Halftime, Maslin 13, Glen Oak nothing. Let's take this quick time out for our good friends at Discount Tire Outlet. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. We're hassle free, guaranteed. Hello, 
and welcome to the Stark County Humane Society. Today we're going to give you a few pointers when considering adopting a new furry friend. All animals here at the Stark County Humane Society are spayed, neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, dewormed, and if old enough, heartworm tested for our canine friends. Adopters will receive a free exam within two weeks of adoption at local veterinarian hospitals. We encourage all adopters to take full advantage of this. A one-time adoption fee is required for your new furry friend. When you adopt, you get an awesome adoption packet that includes treats for your new fur baby and savings for you. But this is not where the cost of adoption stops. Did you know the average cost of an animal like a new puppy or kitten can cost up to $500 annually? This includes annual veterinary visits, preventative care, and everyday supplies like crate, litter, food, toys. But I hope this doesn't scare you away. Adopting an animal is a huge responsibility and a commitment. Please take the time to consider the cost of adopting a new pet into your family today. I hope to see you soon at the Stark County Humane Society. Please visit our website or visit us on social media for more information. Now up we have our Mass and Tiger Swing Band. Under the direction of Jason Neal, assisted by Jen Smith Eisler, Chris Nussbaum, James Gates, Montana Hollis, and Lauren Foster. Led onto the field by drum majors Miriam Joseph and Brandon Johnson, with Obi the Tiger, Jasmine Mazaregos. This is the Maslin Tiger Swing Band, with the Maslin tradition since 1938. Fanfare. Tiger Rag and carry on.
and Singwell is known as a triple threat. Tonight, the swing band would like to showcase all three talents, acting, dancing, and singing. The music of Chuck Mangione sets the scene for Obi to act out in a story in the land of make-believe. Shining Castle. But one day, there was trouble in the kingdom. A fierce dragon appeared and began to threaten the tigers. Sir Obi enlisted the help of his bravest warrior friends to fight the evil dragon. Celebration could begin. They all lived happily ever after. The music, the music of ABBA of provides a great chance for the band to show that they know how to dance. Here's our rendition of Dancing Queen. Shively, Thomas Shively, please report to the railing in section six. Thomas Shively, report to the railing in section six. Thank you.
And finally tonight, we'd like to feature vocalist, soloist Carson Bratton to the recent pentatonic hits entitled, Sing. Massive Tiger Swing Band. They work so hard for this, and it definitely pays off. They do a great job every single time they perform. And I mean, it's just such a great halftime show. They really work super hard for this. And... All right, we're going to take a quick time out. When we come back, we'll take a look at the halftime stats as both teams are coming out on the field getting loose for the start of the second half. Now, this word from the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you, Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Glen Oak Golden Eagles on the field, getting loose, and the Maslin Tigers about to join them as both teams are going to stretch it out here in anticipation of the start of the second half. Some halftime stats for you. First downs in the game, Maslin 7, Glen Oak just 1. Rushing yards, Maslin 107, and Glen Oak just six passing yards. The Tigers with 47 yards through the air. Glen Oak with just 19. So total yards in the first half, Braden. Maslin with 154. And Glen Oak just 25. So a really good effort by the Tiger defense in the first half of play. Leading the Tigers on offense, running back Wiltrell Hartson, 10 carries. 70 yards, I should say 10 carries for 67 yards. Darius McElroy had seven carries for 38 yards. Through the air, McElroy was nine out of 16 for 47 yards. And leading the Tiger receivers, Curtis Miller, five catches for 29 yards. Looking at Glen Oak, not much offensively, as we mentioned, just 25 yards in that first half. 
Avante Burt had one carry for eight yards. Sam Harper, four carries for six yards. Isaiah Knox, the Golden Eagles quarterback, was two out of nine for 19 yards, and he was sacked one time in the first half. And the leading receiver for the Golden Eagles is Luke Weary, one catch for 13 yards. One other key stat in the first half, Austin Brawley. What a, what a half as far as returning punts. He had four returns for 61 yards, and really he was a key in allowing the Tigers to get good field position when they were able to get some scores. Shane Rue with two first-half field goals, one from 36 yards out in the first quarter, a 26-yard field goal in the second quarter, and then the Tigers with just 12 seconds in the first half saw Darius McElroy push it in from one yard out and with the extra point from Shane Rue giving the Tigers a 13 to nothing halftime lead. So Braden, Tigers with that 13 to nothing lead, what do you look for here in the second half? Um, I mean, the beginning half it was pretty good, but like I'm kind of hoping for the second half that we can get like maybe a couple more touchdowns and see some more scores on the board. Definitely try and make some more plays and just see what else we can bring. The other thing that's nice is that the Tigers are going to get the football to start the second half because if you remember, Glen Oak won the toss, but they elected to receive. So Maslin can really come out here and maybe blow this game open if we can get another touchdown here to start in the third quarter. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support, allowing us to bring you tonight's game. Our sponsors include Reliable Heating and Cooling, Stark State College, Sergeant Clean's Car Wash, the Maslin Boys and Girls Club, Cosmos Grill, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Doring Vision Center, Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin, the Friends and Family Credit Union, Tower Industries, Perfect Storm All-Stars, the Downtown Maslin Association, Medicap Pharmacy, Discount Tire Outlet, the WHS Alumni Association, the Home Appliance Company, the Maslin YMCA, Discount Outlet in Maslin, Mears Nissan, Your Pizza Shop, Erie Street Pub, and MCTV. Kicking the ball is number 40, Silas. Kelsic. Kelsic. That kick goes into the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback, and the ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Making it first and 10 for the Mass and Tigers with the ball on the 25 yard line. So, as we talked about, Braden, this is a key possession for both teams. Masson wanting to add on to their 13 to nothing lead, and Glen Oak really wanting to stop the Tigers here and get the ball back right away on offense. McElroy hands off the ball to number 25, Will Trail Hartson. Nice job by the Glen Oak defense that time. Number 39, Austin Potter. Makes the tackle. So we had a flag on the play, Braden. That's going to be a five yard penalty against the Tigers. That'll move the ball back to the 20. So it'll remain first down. But it'll be first and 15. The ball being on the 20-yard line.
McElroy throws the ball. This incomplete intended for number 18. Ardell Banks. Which was incomplete. Which makes it second and 15 with the ball on the 20 yard line for the Madison Tigers. McElroy has the ball. He has an opening, but he throws the ball to number 13, Riley Campbell, which runs out of bounds. Making it first down for the Masson Tigers. So it's first and 10 with the ball on the 36 yard line. Darius hands the ball off to number 25 again. Will Trail, Hartson. Tackle by number 10, Luke Wary. Making it second and seven. Darius hands the ball off again. McElroy. Get some gains there. Will try Hartson with the play. Tackled again by number 10, Luke Weary. Good job by that Tiger offensive line. Number 10, Luke Weary. He's down on the field. And there's a timeout with 10.53 to go here in the third quarter. Now this word from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. One minute, you're out there living life to the fullest. The next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange independent agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zig, instead of Zach. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thanks to Buell and Oliveri Insurance. Number 10, Luke Weir, he's up. Must have been just cramps. Yeah, with this uh, warm temperatures and high humidity, cramping, is a key issue in the early part of the high school football season. It's now first and 10 for the Madison Tigers, the ball on the 47 yard line. Mac Elroy throws the ball, and it's complete to number 18, and he runs. And there's a touchdown for the Madison Tigers. Ardell Banks, number 18, catches the ball, runs for a Masson Tiger touchdown. Making score 19 for Masson Tigers, blend up zero. What a great play by them both. Beautiful throw, great protection from the offensive line, and McElroy put it right on the money to Ardell Banks. With 10.39 to go in the third quarter, extra point coming up for the Tigers. Number one, Shane Rue on the kick with number 14, Caleb Collin holding the football for him. The kick is complete by Shane Rue, making the score 20, Massa and Glen Oaks zero. There's a timeout on the field. Now this word from the Washington High School Alumni Association. Those were the days, my friend. I thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance. Forever and a day. We'd live the life we choose. We'd fight and never lose. For we were young. And yes, those were the days. T-I-G-E-R-S. T-I-G-E-R-S. And
And thank you to the Washington High School Alumni Association. It's Maslin 20, Glen Oak nothing with 10.39 to go here in the third quarter. Number one, Shane Rue on the kick again. Receiving is number one, Kamani McNeil, and number five, Davon Blanchard. Number one gets the ball, McNeil. Our scoreboard should read Maslin 20, Glen Oak nothing, with 10.32 remaining here in the third quarter. First and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 18 yard line. Can't begin to describe how big that play was, how big that touchdown was for the Maslin Tigers. Really can add to your confidence level, especially the way this defense has played tonight. They've been outstanding. Knox with the play. Tackle by number 21, Jaden Welch. Making a second and five for Glen Oak with the ball in the 23 yard line. Number two, Isaiah Knox passes the ball to number six, Avante Burt. And he's tackled out of bounds. Looks like that'll be enough for a Glen Oak first down. Making it first and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 29 yard line. Knox gives the ball to number six again. He sees an opening and he just goes straight into the opening, but it's tackled by number 80, Maverick Clark. A 6'1", 180-pound sophomore. Which makes it second and five for Glen Oak with the ball on the 34-yard line. Knox drops back. Yes, well, there's a flag on the play. Ooh, misses that tackle, but still falls down on the 40-yard line. Number four, Austin Brawley on that tackle. And that is a holding for the Glen Oak offense. Yeah, that was a, a big play for the Maslin defense. They're going to take advantage of another penalty by Glen Oak here. And there's currently nine minutes and seven seconds left in the third quarter. Second and 18 for Glen Oak. Ball on the 21-yard line. Knox throws the ball to number six. 
Breaks a tackle, he keeps running, but it's tackled by number 21, Jaden Welch. Avante Birch on that play, running the football. First down for Glen Oak. So it is now first and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 45 yard line. With eight minutes and 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Austin Potter on the carry that time for the Golden Eagles. He's going to lose a yard back to the 44. Making it second and 11 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 44 yard line. Knox throws the ball to number six, Bird again. Oh, fumble of the play, but he recovers it. The ball is recovered by number six, Avante Burt. He gets hit and he fumbles it, but he's able to re recover it before Massey gets it. Making it third and 11 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 44 yard line. Knox steps back, and he's running for the play, but Fortifer tries to get there, he breaks that tackle. But is then tackled by number 80, Maverick Clark. It is now fourth down with 12 to go with the ball on the 43 yard line. Kicking it is number three, Logan Scott. Long snap. Glen Oak downs at number 27, Nick Walter. Which makes it first and 10 for the Mass and Tigers. With the ball on the 19 yard line. McLaurin hands off the ball to number 25, Will Trail Hartman. Gains a little bit of yards there. Which is a first down for the Masson Tigers. Luke Weary is down again. Looks like he has a cramp issue again for the second time. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back with more after this word from the Home Appliance Company. It's where we come together, where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on 
and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. I'm Scott Laudermilk, personal trainer at the Maslin YMCA. I have some good news. I bet you're going to tell them that we've been in the community for over 100 years and we have two locations. And the YMCA offers financial assistance and income-based pricing so everyone is welcome. Remember, we also offer childcare, full and half-day preschool, school day off programs, before and after school, and summer camp. I was just going to say we got weights, baby! <laughs> Thanks to the Maslin YMCA and the Home Appliance Company back here at Maslin with 5.43 to go in the third quarter. Darius McElroy sees the gap, throws the ball, and then it's almost caught. Incomplete pass that was attended. Oh, there's a flag on the play. But that pass was um, intended for number 14, Calix Collins. I think they're going to say that McElroy was across the line of scrimmage. And you're not allowed to do that. That is a penalty. We have an illegal forward pass. Five yard penalty and a loss of down. So not only is it a five yard penalty, it's also a loss of down. Making it second, second and 15 for the Madison Tigers with the ball on the 25 yard line. Darius hands off the ball again. To number Hartson. 25, Hartson is tackled by number 10, Luke Weary. And? And Lyndon Blackman, number nine. There's a good look at Will Trell Hartson. It's now third and two for Masson. Ball on the 38. Darius hands off the ball again to Hartson. He's tackled. It looks to be the 40-yard line. With four minutes and 45 seconds left in the third quarter. I think they're going to say that he touched his knee down just short of the 40-yard line. So that's going to bring up fourth down. And here comes the Tiger punt team. Receiving the kick is number six, Avante Birch. Or Burt. Now the Tigers may be reconsidering what they're going to do here. I think they might end up going for it. They're going to talk about it. 4.14 to go here in the third quarter. Actually, we're going to get a measurement, Braden. They're going to bring the sticks in from the far side. Interesting. That's about a half a yard or less. Let's see if the Tigers go for it here now. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Fourth down. Let's see what they got. Right. And it looked like the Tigers were trying to draw Glen Oak off sides. Okay. Then the play clock, right before the play clock ran out, 
The Tigers called a timeout, and now I'm going to guess they're going to punt it. The play clock, though, was at zero, so there was some confusion. We have four minutes to go here in the third quarter. And now here comes the punt team back out. Punting the ball is number eight, Darius McElroy. Receiving the ball is number six, Avante Burt. Goes out of bounds around the 30 yard line. That'll stop the clock with 3.54 to go here in the third quarter. Don't forget, next week on WHS-TV, our Maslin Tigers are right back here to take on the Reynoldsburg Raiders from the Columbus area. Reynoldsburg will be coming to Paul Brown Tigers Stadium. We'll have replays next Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday on MCTV channels 611 and 11. WHS TV, proud to be your TV home of Maslin Tiger football all season long, as well as the live stream on the Maslin City Schools website. First and 10 for Glen Oak. The ball in the 32 yard line. Knox pressured. Tackled by number 16, Camden Beasley. Yeah, really a nice job by Beasley as he was covering a receiver. And there's an injury, a massive injury on the field. Yes, we have a Tiger defender down at the 45-yard line. Let's take this time out from Discount Outlet in Maslin. Discount Outlet is bringing you the latest and greatest deals you have to see to believe. We have huge selections at closeout prices for all of your everyday essentials, clothing, toys, home decor, and much more. When we say tiny, tiny prices, prices are, are a big deal, deal, that means big savings on all of your favorite name brand products. So come check us out at the original store in Maslin on First Street. Discount Outlet, where tiny prices are a big deal. Thanks to Discount Outlet in Maslin. Injured was number 21, Jaden Welch. Yeah, that is another cramp situation. And Brayden, that looked a lot worse because when we first saw the injury, it didn't look like Jaden was moving at all. Yeah. And uh, fortunately, in this case, yes, it's serious. It's a, it's a cramp, but it looked like it could have been much worse. I'm glad that it's not much worse. You and me both. Which brings it in second and nine for Glen Oak with the ball on the 33-yard line. Knox hands the ball off to number six. He's trying to look for a gap, but it's tackled. Avante Burt running the ball, but was tackled by number 44, Nathan Depew. Third down, third and eight now for Glen Oak. With the ball on the 34-yard line. Three minutes and five seconds left in the third quarter. Knox heads off the ball and moves. Nope, he's going to nope, keep he it. He keeps it. He throws it. Almost intercepted by number 12, Curtis Miller. But it was originally intended for number 35, Michael Davis. A really nice job by Curtis Miller in the secondary. Really had great position back there. There you see the young man, and he nearly came up with the interception. Nice play. It's fourth down. Fourth and eight for Glenn Oak.
Knox with the kick. That'll be down by the Golden Eagles at the Maslin 38-yard line. Just one score in this third quarter, a long touchdown pass for the Maslin Tigers. Maslin led 13 to nothing at the half. And then added that third quarter score with 231 left in this third quarter. First and 10 for the Maslin Tigers with the ball in 38. McElroy keeps the ball, throws it to number 12. He has just a little bit, runs out of bounds. Number 12, Curtis Miller. Braden, pretty good block out there on the far side by number 13, Riley Campbell. That play doesn't go anywhere if the other wide receiver doesn't complete his block. And that was a gain of six yards on that pass play. Making it second and four for Massa now. Darius hands the ball off to Wiltrell Hartson. Tackle by number 90, Omar Ford. And number 25, Jaden Gorham. Gorham is the one who's down. Again, cramps. And we will take a timeout. 1.55 to go here in the third quarter. Now this message from Doring Vision Center. Proper eye care is important. Doring Vision Center in downtown Massillon is a primary care optometry clinic. They use the latest technology and can treat most eye disease conditions. Doring Vision Center welcomes emergency eye visits and same day appointments may be available. Most insurances are accepted, including government plans. Don't forget their optical showroom featuring a wide variety of frames. From everyone at Doring Vision Center, Go Tigers! Back here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, thanks to Doring Vision Center, one of our fine sponsors of Tiger football here on WHS-TV. First and 10 for the Masson Tigers with the ball on the 49-yard line. McElroy hands the ball off again to number 25, Wiltrow Hartson. Great blocking for the Tigers that time on the right side, the right tackle number 72, Tejamir Nash, and the tight end number 48, Nick Hathaway, combined to seal that edge, allowing Hartson to pick up seven yards on that carry. And now we've got a timeout taken by the Maslin Tigers. We now have one minute and 16 seconds left in the third quarter with the score 20 Maslin Tigers and Glen Oak zero. And we'll take a timeout for the Friends and Family Credit Union. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop in one of our locations today to become a friend of the family. 116 to go in the third quarter, thanks to the Friends and Family Credit Union. We're back here with the Tigers on top, 20 to nothing. Second and third for the Madison Tigers with the ball on the 44-yard line. McElroy runs out of bounds. Chased out there by number 50, Jaden Thomas. which makes it third and three for the Madison Tigers with the ball on the 46-yard line. 
third and five, my apologies. McElroy hands off the ball again to wheelchair Hart Hartson. Yeah, I got to believe he would have had enough for the first down, but he's going to be marked about a yard short at the Glen Oak 42. That's going to bring up fourth down and a yard. I think the Tigers will go for it here. They're going to bring in number 42, Caden Edwards. Extra tight end to line up on the right side. Hands off to Wilshire Hartson, and he gets out. Just enough for that first down. Hartson was knocked down, and then he was knocked into his teammate, Curtis Miller. Miller pops up. It is now a first down for the Madison Tigers, so it's first and 10 with the ball in the 38-yard line. With 24 seconds left in the third quarter. Ooh, bad snap, but it was recovered by Wiltshire Hartson. And he finds an opening, and he goes for another first down. And he cuts back. And I think he got it. They're going to put him down at the one-yard line, Braden. What a run. First and goal for Maslin. Putting him right at the one-yard line. He just about had it. And that is going to mark the end of the third quarter as Wiltrell Hartson has the Tigers inside the one-yard line. At the end of three, it's Maslin 20, Glen Oak nothing. Now this word from Mears Nissan. We've told you about the Mirrors Must See Guarantee, but don't take our word for it. Well, before we came in to test drive the vehicle, my husband and I had done some research on the website and we really enjoyed how easy Mirrors Nissan's website was to use. We weren't really sure at that time because we didn't need to buy a car. Very low key, low pressure, let us you know, take the weekend to think about it. So it was really easy peasy for us. See us at 4825 West Tuscarora Street in Canton or online at MearsNissan.com. And a big thanks to Mears Nissan, one of our fine sponsors here on WHS-TV. Braden, we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Maslin leading 20 to nothing over Glen Oak, and they've got a first and goal inside the Glen Oak one-yard line. While we have time here, I would like to say a big congrats to our uh, Maslin Tiger freshman team for beating Glen Oak yesterday, 18 to 14. McElroy gives it, hands it off, and they're in there for the Masson Tiger touchdown. They can score 26-0. Wilcher Harson on the touchdown. Before that carry, Wiltrell Hartson had 20 carries for 166 yards. He's averaging over eight yards per carry now, and he adds on another yard and a Maslin touchdown. Shane Rue on the kick. And number 14, Calix Khan is holding the football for him. And the kick is complete, making our score 27. Massa Tigers, zero Glen Oak. Now this word for Tower Industries.
Thank you to Tower Industries as we are back on WHS TV. 11.58 to go in the ball game. Maslin led 13 to nothing at the half. And the Tigers with two second half touchdowns have pushed their lead out to 27 to nothing. Kicking the ball again, we have number one, Shane Rue. And receiving is number one, McNeil. And number five, Blanchard. Kick is received by number six, Avante Burt. He's he dangerous. He tries to find those gaps. But it's tackled by number six, Marquavion Young. And number 10, Nate Watkins. Just a reminder, the Maslin Tigers will host the Reynoldsburg Raiders next Friday night here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. We'll have it for you here once again on WHS TV and the live stream through the Maslin City Schools website. It's now first and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 35 yard line. Knox hands the ball off to number six, Avante Burt. Tackle by number 16, Caden Beasley. Camden Beasley. It is now second and seven for Glen Oak with 11 minutes and 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Second seven. Camden Beasley's had a nice game for the Tigers playing out of that Sam linebacker spot. Knox throws the ball, but it's incomplete. Ball was intended to. Number 35, Michael Davis, but was incomplete. Making it now third and seven for Glen Oak. Eleven minutes and six seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Knox is running the ball, but is pushed out of bounds by number 16, Camden Beasley. Making it fourth and one for Glen Oak with the ball in the 44 yard line. Well, they're going to bring in the punt team. I I'm a little surprised, I have to admit. Kicking the ball is number three, Logan Scott. Receiving it is number four, Austin Brawley. Austin gets the ball and he runs. Finding the gaps. It's a, it's a great run by Brawley. And he breaks the tackle and he's running. He's going all the way, he's going all the way down. And that is a touchdown for the Masson Tigers. Number four, Austin Brawley on the play. What a great play by Brawley. Amazing job by Brawley. Love to see it. That's about 75 yards, Braden, and he has done a great job along with his teammates blocking on those returns. It's been a big part of this game tonight, the punt return game of the Maslin Tigers. Making the score 33 to zero with Shane Rue on the kick. What a play. It's a great play.
Number one, Shen Ru kicking the ball. And it's good, making the score. 34, Masson Tigers, zero Glen Oak with 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter. Let's take this time out for Erie Street Pub. Big game's on. You could watch a game like this. Or you could watch a game like this surrounded by fans just like you. At the Erie Street Pub, the game never ends. Open seven days a week. Erie Street Pub has pub style food at the right price with daily lunch specials. Wednesday is ladies night and enjoy our large outside bar and patio. What's keeping you from the Erie Street Pub? Just up the road from Genshaft Fields. What are you waiting for? Come join us at Erie Street Pub. Thanks to Erie Street Pub and the Tiger fans, many of them with big, big smiles on their faces here tonight. It's Maslin 34, Glen Oak nothing with 10.01 to go in the fourth quarter. And now, Braden, we have a situation where with a 30-point lead or more, you have a running clock. And we'll be talking about that as we move through this fourth and final quarter. Kicking the ball is number one, Shane Rue. Punt goes into the end zone. Putting the ball in the 25 yard line in first and 10 for Glen Oak. We may start to see now a few substitutions for the Tigers especially now on the defensive side. We'll see. Get some of the younger players some game experience. Tigers bouncing back after that tough loss to Pickerington Central a week ago. And really coming out tonight and playing very well, especially on the defensive side. A couple of new Tigers on the field including linebacker Cody Fair and linebacker Calix Collins into the game for Maslin. Knox hands the ball off to number six, Burt. But it's tackled. Tackled by number 33, Cody Fair. Fair slowed him down, and then there was a couple other Tigers who were able to bring him down to the ground. Making it second and eight for Glen Oak with the ball on the 27-yard line. Knox was on the ball. He starts running it, but he's pressured by Masson and he's sacked. <laughs> by number 14, Calix Collins. Good job by Collins fighting through a blocker and then not letting Knox get away. Third and 14 for Glen Oak now with the ball on the 21 yard line. Don't forget every Wednesday night on WHS TV, it's the Nate Moore Show, 7.30. Here the coach and meet a Tiger player. Wednesday night, 7.30 on WHS TV, MCTV channels 6, 11, and 11. Knox throws the ball to Burtz. It's tackled. By number 10, Nate Watkins. Great job by Watkins breaking through and tackling Burt in the backfield. That's going to bring up fourth and long. Fourth and fir fourth and 14. Oh. Fourth and 14 for Glen Oak. Ball. Oh. Fourth and 17. My apologies. Ball on the 18-yard line. Ball received by number 12, 
Curtis Miller. Breaks that tackle. Finds his gap. Curtis Miller again, just a sophomore, and he has great quickness and speed. My, my, uh, my apologies there. Miller is a senior. I was thinking of somebody else. Hmm. So the Tiger offense gets the football now at the 43, and we have a new quarterback into the game for the Tigers. Jalen Slaughter, number two. He's 5'10", 160 pounds, freshman. Pretty good throw to number 31, and he runs, but he's pushed out of bounds. Ball caught by number 31, Zach Liebler. That was a really nice play by the Maslin offense. Nice, fairly easy throw for Slaughter. Incomplete pass. Ball was attended for number 14, Calix Collins. But was tackled by number 10, Luke Weary. 5 minutes and 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Yep, clock continuing to run again. If a team is up by 30 or more points in the second half, we have a running clock. So that's why this fourth quarter has gone by so quickly. Ball is thrown. Pushed out of bounds by number one, Kamani McNeil. The ball was caught by number 31, Zach Liebler. There's now five minutes left in the fourth quarter with the score being 34, Maslin Tigers. Glenn up zero. Maslin is third and eight, and the ball is on the 18-yard line. Slaughter. Has the ball, throws it. He's intercepted by number eight, Rico Andrews. It was actually an incomplete. Actually, that was Blackman, number nine, who almost had the interception. I pointed to the wrong number. I apologize. It is now fourth down from Madison Tigers and eight. And the ball's on the 18-yard line with four minutes and 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Slaughter goes right up the middle, but it's not enough to get the first down. It was tackled by number 88. Rashawn Card was the ball carrier. 5'8", senior. Ball goes over on downs, and that stops the clock. Let's take this quick time out for Perfect Storm All-Stars. Competitive cheer is just that, competitive. Prepare your child now with the help of Perfect Storm All-Stars and their cheer and tumbling facilities right here in Maslin. Perfect Storm All-Stars offers full year, half year, and recreational competitive cheer teams and classes. They feature tumbling, ninja open gyms, baton, birthday parties, and much more. The first class is always free. Call today or stop by their main gym on 3rd Street, Northwest in Maslin. Thank you to Perfect Storm All-Stars. Glen Oak with the football, first and 10. Number six, Avante Burt was tackled. Boy, the Tiger defense is just owning that line of scrimmage right now. And a lot of second teamers in there for the Tigers. One of those on the stop that time, I believe, was number 60, Isaac Smith, a 5'9 senior it is on the defensive line. It's now second and 11 for Glen Oak. The ball on the 11.
Kimani James also on the defensive line now for the Tigers. Big number 68. A sophomore listed at 5'9", 300 pounds. Knox hands off the ball. It's number, what it looks to be, 20, 33? 33, Sam Harper. Tackle by number 33, Cody Fair. Which is now third and 10 for Glen Oak with the ball on the 12 yard line. Clock is down to 224 and running here in the fourth quarter. Knox. He's pressured because number 79 gets back there. He throws the ball. But number 34 makes sure that he cannot make that catch. Number 34, Nick Allen Gibson. Which makes it now fourth and 10 for Glen Oak. Ball still on the 12 yard line. With the clock reading, one minute and 30 seconds left to the end of the game. Another punt coming up for the Golden Eagles. Ball put down by number 27, Nick Walter. With the clock now reading, one minute and three seconds left. And there's a flag on the play. Yeah, there's a flag back near where the punt was made. Let's see what they call. Personal foul, Maslin. First down, Glen Oak. So they called a personal foul on that flag for Maslin. Dead ball, giving Glen Oak the first down. Stops the clock with 103 to go, and Glen Oak will get the ball back. Which makes it first and 10 for Glen Oak with their ball on the 27 yard line. Knox hands off the ball again. They try to push in there. Number 33, Sam Harper tries to push in there. But a stop by the massive defense. Running clock is down to 36 seconds. We're going to have one more snap. Final snap is for Glen Oak with second and 10 with ball on 27. Seven seconds now on the clock. Knox hands the ball off to number 33, Sam Harper, but is tackled. And that is the end of the game today. Final score being Maslin, 34. Glen Oak Eagles, zero. Well, Brayton, after a tough loss a week ago, the Tigers do respond, don't they? What a great game, huh? What a great game for the Tigers. 
So the Maslin Tigers record now is even at one win and one loss. The Glen Oak Golden Eagles also now at one win and one loss. Our Tigers will be back on WHS TV next Friday night, September the 3rd, as we're right back here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium as our Tigers take on the Reynoldsburg Raiders. There you see both teams showing good sportsmanship here at midfield, across the field. Tiger Swing Band on to perform their post-game show. And a real nice win for the Tigers, both offense, defense, and, of course, special teams play, getting a couple of field goals from Shane Rue. And uh, really after a slow start, the Tigers were in control of this one, leading 13 to nothing at the half. And then coming up with 21 second half points and pushing out to that 34 to nothing lead. Want to thank our crew here tonight. We'll have Braden talk about that in just a moment. Thanks to everybody here in the Paul Brown Tiger Stadium press box. Uh, it was a great win for our Tigers here tonight, beating Glen Oak by a final score of 34 to nothing. As we wrap up tonight's coverage of Mass and Tiger football, we want to take the time to thank the members of our WHS TV crew. Tonight's production crew includes on cameras, Willie Bridgman, Alex Wallace, Lily Perry, Rachel Wuske, and tonight's color commentator was Mr. Sheets, and I am Braden Guy, your play-by-play -play announcer. Also, thanks to our directors, Mr. Fair, Mr. Dewall, and Mr. Rock. And a final big thank you to all of our season-long football sponsors. We appreciate you. Once again, our final score is Masson 34 and Glen Oak nothing. Thanks for watching Masson Tiger football all season long on WHS TV. This is the world today. Live your life engaged. MCTV delivers innovative technology backed by superior customer service to keep you engaged with family and friends, school, fun, and the outside world. We provide reliable internet, home cable service, phone and home security that keep your life engaged, no matter what's thrown your way. MCTV, we go the extra smile.